Unlimited calories. Let's go a little bit in depth about that. Because this is again one of the things that Doing Ryan freely like to promote. I don't know if Freely still promotes this, but Durian Rider definitely does still promote this. So unlimited calories. <sighs> does it work? Hell no. Hell no. Some people that followed this diet had to get the gallbladders removed. Some people actually got diabetes. It's a really stupid idea. And nutrition isn't as simple. Like you often hear people say, you often hear gurus say like, oh, a good diet shouldn't be hard to follow. Well, an optimal diet is hard to follow. It wasn't hard to follow back in the day when we were just, you know, we're just going out in nature and pick up whatever we could find that was digestible. You know, and back in the day when we were eating tree bark. <laughs> but things got a lot more, you know, now we have jobs, now we have Things now we have uh, things that we have to do on a daily basis, and we don't have time for good nutrition. So of course, wanting you know, getting an easy pill, you know, getting an easy answer. Just eat as much fruit as you can. Don't even worry about anything else. Who doesn't want to follow that? But then you start following this diet, and then you know, there comes a whole set of rules next to that diet. I go to bed at 6 p.m. Drink 5 liters of water, eat virtually no salt, and your health becomes worse and worse. And well, you know, the advice that they will give you is eat less and less fat, and your health becomes worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, 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 worse. Until you totally fuck up your health and you don't know what you, what you have to do. Okay, so. Let me tell you this. If you are healthy... I think that it's, and you eat an adequate diet and you get all the mi micronutrients and the macros that you, that you, that your body requires, that your body wants. It's very unlikely that you are not full after you've eaten 3000 calories. And that's on the high end. It should more, it should always be between 2000 and 3000 calories. And 3000 calories is really for someone that is really into fitness and shit. I guess it could be around 4000 calories if you are in the military. Because those people burn a ridiculous amount of calories. But other than that, you know, it's always around 2,000 to 3,000 calories. If you aren't full after eating that amount of food, like I was, because I, I was eventually eating 4,000 calories a day. And I wasn't full. And I just kept eating. I ate almost a whole kilo box of dates every day. And I was like... I'm not full. I'm not satisfied. I'm hungry. And during Ryan and Freely would just tell you, well, that's great. That's great. That's actually a really good sign. It's not. It means that your body is missing something. So then I started to eat more fat and I became less hungry. And, um, but, but, but the problem wasn't solved at that point. I was still really hungry. And it was still really hard to, um, to keep my sugar cravings in control. Now, one thing that really helped, which I'm sure Durian Rider would never recommend you to do, is eating uh, fermented vegetables, right? Fermented vegetables. Really, really great source of, well, all kinds of nutrients. Um, a really interesting subject in general, by the way. Like, um, it should be considered a superfood. Everyone should eat some probiotic foods. And Durian Rider is, of course, against that because he is... I'm 100% certain that he's like the type of guy that's like... You need to eat as fresh as possible. The fresher the better, bruh. Fresher the better, bruh. <laughs> okay, here's the problem with that. All animals in nature eat some probiotic foods. Yes, all animals eat rotten food. All animals eat their own shit. All animals eat, um, you know, rotten leaves. All animals eat dirt, all animals, and hell, monkeys do this as well. Monkeys eat dirt, monkeys eat shit. So all the primates do this as well. And um, uh, termite hills, yeah, termite hills, very high source of nutrients and probiotics. Now, of course, animals will never put some vegetables in a jar with a teaspoon of salt but, uh, and let that sit in on the counter for a week. 
But all animals, virtual all animals, virtually all animals eat probiotic foods. And it helps. It helps a lot. And it's a shame that a lot of vegans don't do this because they just simply don't know. Well, that shit helps. That shit is great for health. And uh, now that I'm finally eating that, and I've been eating that for now almost two months, I have no insane sugar cravings anymore. I solved that problem, not by eating more sugar, but by eating less sugar, eating more fat, and eating probiotic foods. So, unrestricted calories? No. It's only a sign that you're missing something, and something is not in order.